Dark and Ranshiro. Dark, of course, the player you have certainly heard of before. The Saudi Arabian dashing pogoing maniac. Round top 100 type ones player in and outs. And we'll see how he does today against Dark. When I messaged Ranshiro saying, do you want to play in this match? He said he had an opposite playstyle to Dark. Clashing of playstyles you could ever see. So we'll see if it happens again here with Ranshiro. One thing that isn't clashing is that both these guys are in the Octane, which you don't see as much. There's a pogo match. Oh, sorry, a pogo match. A dark match, not a pogo match. As dark goes air dribble the whole distance of the field. Dark has moved his way into the top 100. For those of you that have been watching, you know, Dark's streams or watching just Dark's rank, because I bet you there are people out there who are doing that, you know that Dark is grinding up a little bit. Dark setting up a wall to air dribble now. Slowing down with 36 boost. How's he going to find a way to get all the way to the net? The answer is he's not going to. Has to drop it down early. Renshiro counterattack, and it should be a 4 1. I say steal because it seemed like Renshiro was for sure going to take it from him. Dark ground double too high over the backboard, but wisely pulls off the ball. Recognizes that he wants as soft a touch as possible so that it can tap off the backboard and the follow up. He does recover, stops it from being an immediate goal. And this shot across the net is saved. If you haven't watched Dark recently, I don't know if this was necessarily how he played it in the past, but how he's been playing defense now is he prefers to swing across the net at max speed, which means he will ease defensive style. And that really shouldn't come as a surprise if you've watched any Dark. The fact that he's taken risk, a little bit of an edge, gets taken away. He's going to go steal on Shiro's boost. The dashing... Just barely makes it so he wins, and then a great power shot. Dark always finds ways to take advantage of his crazy dashing. It didn't even seem like Renshiro was ready for it. He gets bumped up into the air and then shot. Renshiro, again, not going to be allowed to grab his own back corner boost. Can he punish? Doesn't seem like he will. He'll take Dark's boost instead. Dark wanted to be the one to punish this time around, but gained back. But game number one goes... Terenshiro. Dark was dashing his way back to the corner because he thought that's where Renshiro Air dribble on the left side. Renshiro has done well shadowing against Dark, which doesn't always work, but it's been working so far, so why not stick to it? The double reset leaves Dark out of boost and out of recovery this time. Renshiro bumped, gonna have to make a first save on just pads, and now Dark is going to try and pin him back as best he can. A couple pad pick up for Renshiro, but he swung out of the net in the midfield. He actually takes it away to the back corner. Wave dash, pinch on the wall to start this dribble. Has the reset looking top left, and Renshiro makes the save again. Renshiro has the reads on Dark's aerials. Can he do it on five boost as well, though? Fortunately for him, it doesn't seem like Dark has a much of a plan with this shot, but I uh, take it back. Dark, just with speed, is going to be able to convert. These guys playing at the midfield at maximum velocity. Dark off the back wall. Oh, dashing shot. Does not catch Renshiro off guard. There have been close opportunities that Dark is playing fairly unorthodox that you might think Renshiro will be out of position. Renshiro has covered it, and now Dark dashing his way on the back wall. To try and make a save. He pre-jumped the two. Dark loves those wall pinches to start his dribbles. This time, though, he let the ball fall back down to the ground. And a great catch to place the ball right at the top of the net again. It seemed like it was going to be a low play. But Dark gets the reset and is dashing in quick. There is that madness that is the wall dashing Dark as he tries to sneak in the quick shot. And the pre-jumps haven't been working for him. Back. Dark getting on ball before it seems he has a full idea of how he could attack with this. Instead, it is Renshiro again. Back wall dribble as long as he's in control of the ball. He should be in good shape. There's the pogo for the fans in the final moments. The double pogo! Oh, it gets stopped. Renshiro, he doesn't want to have it. He refuses to get double pogoed. In the final seconds, instead, he's going to try and show off a bit of his own, and he does get a goal. Maybe lost the game, but at least got out of it without getting clipped on. Is how he can set up almost anything at any time. Dark going crazy with the speed, but Renshiro 
Keeping his wits about him. Not reacting too hard and actually might even get a counterattack goal. No, Dark is going to be the one to recover and save this time. Can he make a save on zero boost? He wants to punish Renshiro for the high pop. Way with leaving the net open just a little bit longer. Now, a really strong first touch on the dribble. The wave dash shots is just underneath the crossbar. And he is trying to work his way through Renshiro, who has done a great job at shadow defending Dark's aerial game. Yes. Forcing the opposition to try for those long shots. Sometimes it results in possessions for him like this. Although this shot's going to come far out of the net. Renshiro has to save, but does hit into the post, which means Dark might be able to capitalize now, and he will. Renshiro trying to recover to this shot. Can't do it as Dark wins the possession into the corner. Dasses his way towards the wall and challenge. Can he get the demo? He does, but Renshiro got enough on the ball. So even though Dark played it around him, it was quick thinking from Renshiro that kept him from getting scored on. Dark the reset! And he wants to entertain the idea of winning game three. This needs to be a goal. As Dark comes diving in, Shiro with the boost steal, and Dark cannot. Dark dashing back to this ball. Still not quick enough to beat a shadowing Renshiro. Can't even really afford to take his time on this dribble. Has to shoot quickly. Goes to the ceiling and sends it down. I mean, Dark played into his hands. He needed a quick shot, and by Dark going up so high, it allowed what would be, you know, a, a, this. GG. It's going to be Dark up 2-1. Dark with a kickoff win. Try and start the game off the right foot. And even though he didn't score initially, Dark, that has really been maybe the biggest reason why Dark's been able to turn this all around. That first game was so tough for him on the kickoffs. These power shots on the dashes have been the answer to the way Renshiro has been trying to defend. That was an opportunity to take the ball, but Renshiro's idea to do to Dark as he is so effective when you give him space and time but also it's really hard to play quicker than him too so it's <laughs> giving him a lot of success he's gonna win another kickoff possession and he's gonna dash his way up the side wall as he sees Renshiro turning in and it's gonna be off the cross Hold. with those dashes in the corner Dark has multiple resets and he gets it past Renshiro's Shiro dropping this one around Dark. And if you line it up for even a moment, you might get scored on. Nice recovery from Machiro. He went for the demo. Dark dodged it. And Machiro swung around for the save, but he got a little bit ahead of himself. It seems like he's starting to try and play Dark's game at breakneck speed. He has been able to keep Dark from doing that. I mean, Dark has pogoed, but never for a goal. Dark. Punishing Renshiro for trying to be too quick. There's Renshiro dropping the nice one. I want to see from his perspective. Some able to push it into the orange half. Now sandwiching with the ceiling. Down to a pogo. He finally got it. He's been looking for it all game. Renshiro specifically did not want to get pogoed on. But Tark found his way to get his pogo shot. That's a high bounce too. And now he's looking to style like he often does. You watch him play in ranked as well. If he feels like he has the game controlled, he starts looking for... Oh, wait. It's Dark's own goal. <laughs> he did! Even if Renshiro does score here, which it does seem like he will or actually won't, so it'll hit ground. So GG's. Dark found his pogo. It took him the whole series to do it. But he'll win against Renshiro. 3-1.